looking at me. Oh, oh, this is my kind of food. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks good. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today I am super jazzed because y'all know I love barbecue and I am at Miller's Barbecue in Hamelina, Finland where I'm about to take on their Meat Impossible Barbecue Platter Challenge. Now I'm only gonna have one hour to finish everything that you see in front of me which has only ever been defeated by four people. But I have one hour to finish a whole bunch of the meats. I have a bunch of their sausage here that looks wonderful, it looks really juicy. I have some of their brisket which is my favorite on the entire planet, some beef cheeks, which look amazing, really wonderfully seasoned, and then some pork belly, which I don't know that I've done pork belly as part of a challenge, and I'm really excited for that. On the side, I also have a whole bunch of their macaroni and cheese, some of their pickled onions and pickles, a big old thing of their coleslaw, and then some of their potatoes, and that is paired with some of their blue cheese, like dipping sauce, and then I do have some barbecue sauce on the side as well. Along the way, I must also finish, because that's not enough, two large uh, drinks. I went with Coke Zero, because I'm watching my figure and then I also have to finish a half liter of their actually vegan ice cream which this one is rhubarb I guess people donate rhubarb to the restaurant that like grow it in their own backyards which is really awesome but I have a big half liter of that here which is going to be intense but uh, another little curveball we have going on is if I can actually beat Beard Meat's food record of 26 minutes and 37 seconds I also win a hundred euros along with the base prizes of getting my 140 euro platter for free and a groovy cap but anyways as usual there ain't nothing to it but to do it let's pull our hair back and get this barbecue eating challenge started <laughs> thank you i am nervous this is a lot of liquids and 27 minutes is fast good work beer beats food we are here i am nervous let's get this started and one two three barbecue eating time let's go let's start with sausage oh It is certainly a rare thing for me to enjoy some sausage. It's usually not one of my favorite things, but this was really lovely, had a nice snap to it, wonderful flavor. This is fantastic. I'm actually gonna try it in some of this blue cheese sauce. Okay, that is nice. Try barbecue. That is tasty. The barbecue sauce was actually a perfect addition to these sausages, really complemented that nice smoky flavor. All of these foods were so wonderful, so smoke infused. I was in heaven. That sausage was fire. Now it is on to the pork belly, which might be some of the most double C thickest pork belly I've ever seen. I'm excited. Mm. That's like butter. Bro. Do <laughs> you need more butter? I know. After the last show? That is wild. This pork belly was actually insane. I may have finally found something that gives my intense love for brisket a run for its money. I was loving every bite of this pork belly. It was so tender, so succulent, juicy, ugh, amazing. That was incredible. It is now time for, and I am excited for it now, this brisket, that just fell apart, like also butter. Here we go. You don't even have to chew it. Oh. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> wow. To say I was blown away is an absolute understatement. This was some of the best barbecue I think I've ever had. And I've had some great award-winning barbecue. Beard Meats Food called this one of its favorite barbecue challenges ever. And now I understand why. This is phenomenal. Yeah, if you ever find yourself in like the Helsinki area of Finland or even Finland in general, make the trip here, make a pilgrimage to try this barbecue. Final bite of brisket, sadly. Mm. On to the beef cheek. Oh my God. How do I pick a favorite? It's really smoky. Whoa. Look at how red that is. And that's from being smoked, by the way. It's not raw. That is fantastic. This is meat candy. 
You lose out on 100 euros because you're talking too much. I don't even care. It's <laughs> worth it to enjoy this. I don't care. A I need bit. a hotel to stay in. Mm. This is phenomenal. This food honestly deserved to be enjoyed slowly. I mean, that might be an excuse. I don't know, but man, I was having way, way too much fun eating all of this food. Sadly, the meats are gone. It is now time for the joyous, joyous carbs and the health of some coleslaw. Let's try some of this. Mm. Good coleslaw even, and I don't even get excited about coleslaw. I think my preference with coleslaw is more of like a sweet and creamy base, and this was perfect in that way. It was like the perfect amount of, I guess, creaminess and a little bit of sweetness, but also that little bit of tang. I want to get into this mac and cheese while it's hot. It is topped with like what looks like Doritos, kind of. It's like, it is Doritos, okay. I'm excited. Yes, ma'am. Mm. This is incredible. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say. You're not going to hear anything negative from me. I was a woman in love with her job that day. Sadly, the mac and cheese is no more, but it was fantastic. Let's crush a couple pickles and a little more of this soda. This is good. At this point, I was pretty happy with my pace. I had made my way through all of the meats kind of ahead of schedule, and some of those sides went down quicker than I expected as well. I knew though that I needed to save time to get through all of those liquids. That was a lot for me. Mix that in with the uh, coleslaw. Okay, let's go for these potatoes. I'm actually really excited for these. I can't complain about any of this. I don't know about y'all, but I had never had potatoes in this form before, and I feel like I'm quite the potato connoisseur, so this was a really cool and unique and delicious way to enjoy some spuds. All right, let's give ourselves a little bit of a sweet treat, break things up. Huh. Rhubarb vegan soft serve. Here we go. It's the world's biggest spoon, too. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of tart. <laughs> I approve. Okay. See, vegans and carnivores can be friends. Mm. Mm. I better save that as a reward until the end. Oh, that is cold though. Brain freeze. I don't ever get brain freeze. Whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. Woo. Oh, that's like sub-zero temperatures. Yeah, I don't know what it was about this stuff. Maybe it was like the vegan ingredients make ice cream colder? I have no idea. I had never experienced ice cream that cold. All right. Apparently Beard was disgusting and ate the blue cheese. All of it. So we will eat all of it. Mixed into coleslaw, though. This could be interesting. Oh, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I was getting heckled from the sidelines that uh, Beard Meats Food had finished all of his blue cheese sauce, so it was basically uh, finish it or look like a wuss, so of course I had to finish it with the uh, unique addition of adding it to my coleslaw. That is it for the solids. Now it is a liquids and dessert challenge. Oh. She's got to drink the soda and the ice cream. Luckily, they gave me ice, which kind of helps a little bit. Hard to chug it, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. I am terrible at drinking lots of liquids. I would much rather have had another, what would that be, pound of food than this entire thing of soda, plus another one. But it's healthier, because it's diet. <coughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Yeah. 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 Oh. We better work on this ice cream.
and then we'll stack more soda on that. Oh, that is like a lot of bubbling happening. Oh, oh maybe I should have chose water for one of them. Oh. Is that an option? I don't know. No. Oh, okay, on to this rhubarb ice cream with the world's biggest spoon. Shake is down. Well Ice cream is down. Oh, that made me full. Okay. Oh, if I didn't have to eat beard, I'd be very confident. Oh. Oh, I'm so bad with liquids. All right, I've got what? How many minutes to do this? 2637, so you've got four minutes, less than that. Okay. If you do it, I'll let you keep the money. Oh, I have to keep the food down. That's the most important thing. I don't want to give these people the wrong kind of show. We believe in you. Oh, I need it. Rounding thoughts. Oh, maybe I should have done the sodas first. There's nothing wrong with an American letting the British guy win. Oh, all right. There we go. Oh, I wouldn't, I'd be able to easily do this in under the hour, but now I've got to chug it. You have two minutes. I know, I just have to burp, but I can't. I'm going to pat you like a baby. Well, congratulations to Beard Meets Food. It's not worth this re-entering the scene for 100 euros. And honestly, that was enjoyable to take my time through anyway. And I'm getting a 140 euro meal for free. As long as I finish this. It is a real plot twist having to drink all the liquids. It's at about two and a half kilos of barbecue. And you've got another half kilo with the shake and then a full kilo with the soda. So it's a lot. Oh, I'm jealous. If I could do that right now, it'd be game over. I'm proud of you, man. Oh, I'm just gonna sit and be chill. We'll probably just do a big, like, 10 years later on my thing. One eternity later. I've done a giant time skip up to this point. We're gonna try and get down a little more liquid. I'm sorry I suck at drinking liquids during a challenge. It's just how I'm built. record but 37 minutes and 41 seconds was my final time to finish the meat impossible that was a crazy amount of liquid but absolutely delicious food I really loved the um, vegan ice cream even but I'd say my favorite meat is between the pork belly and the brisket and I don't know which one to pick because they were both phenomenal I think because I always go with brisket today I'm gonna go with pork belly but everything was wonderful. Really loved the mac and cheese, the potatoes, the coleslaw was good for being coleslaw. Uh, everything about that was wonderful, but man, that was a struggle with the liquid. So props to Beard Meats Food for his time. But uh, yeah, for me, I'm just gonna be getting my 140 euro meat platter for free and a groovy cap to add to my collection, which I'm excited about. No 100 euros, but I'm happy that I was able to take my time through that food. And then luckily just keep the liquids from being burps and not other things so i'm thankful for that but thank you to you guys for watching thank you to everyone here with miller's barbecue uh we will catch you in a couple more finland episodes coming up uh catch you guys in the next one until then okay peace out bye <laughs> what an adventure